Hello guys, this is Damien from forexball.com and welcome back to our video example on a live forex trading account. We remind that the trade you will see here is with and only educational purpose. So currently I'm looking at the 5 minute chart of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair where I have two simple moving averages. The blue one is a 10 period moving average and the red one is a 20 period moving average. I've also included the volume indicator on the chart. Notice that the two SMAs, simple moving averages, uh, have been interacting with each other over here, but now we see like a categoric breakout of the faster moving average through the slower moving average, which is a strong bullish signal. As a result, the price has increased and has confirmed something like a double bottom chart pattern, by the way, over here, but I cannot confirm that this is 100% double bottom since the second bottom is lower than the first one but still could be used as a bear, as a bullish signal in this case. At the same time, we see that the volume indicator at the bottom of my chart is demonstrating something like an increasing volume over here, meaning that a bullish move is currently picking up maybe. Switching on the one minute chart, I notice that the two moving averages have interacted with each other and now they're getting distance from each other, meaning that the slower moving average has supported the faster moving average, which means that the bullish trend is probably continuing. And for this reason, I'm gonna buy half lot of the American dollar Japanese yen forex pair, which is currently in a stronger bullish trend as you see on the hourly chart. And as you see on the hourly chart, the price is being supported by the red 20 period moving average over here. Having in mind that I created something like a double bottom chart pattern and that on the 15 minute chart, the two moving averages are interacting again in bullish direction. I believe that this is a good entry point for a long trade. over here on the daily chart we see again hesitation and we see that the price is interacting with the top over here but I do not plan to stay for a long in this trade I will attempt to catch a bearish impulse so I'll be able to show you how I'm using the two simple moving averages effectively At the same time, I don't plan to leave my trade unattended. And for this reason, I'm going to place a stop loss order. Somewhere below the current price action, I'm currently looking for a level. Maybe I will use the zone that stays somewhere around the top between the two bottoms over here because the price often demonstrates like attitude for testing the top that is located between the two bottoms as a support On the 15 minute chart we see a lot of interruptions over here and we see that the bullish trend is generally slowing down. But on the other hand in the short term I believe that the price is likely to increase. Initially I thought that the price might attempt to change its direction over here when I'm looking at the 1 minute chart. However I saw a bounce of the faster moving average from the slower moving average which made me believe that the price will pro probably increase further and this is what's happening now it will be normal to see some resistance pressure over here somewhere around 111.50 which might be taken as a psychological level 
but I will keep observing my trade and I will I will consider a proper exit point from this trade if needed. But uh, the most important thing is that the price has bounced from the from the 20 period moving average on the one hour chart. And this is a strong signal that the bullish trend is probably not done yet. So this might be a very good entry point on the chart. Notice that I haven't placed a take profit order yet and I don't plan to place a take profit order because I am really not sure if the bearish move occurs for how long it could last. But the most important thing is that during the bullish run we see a pickup in the trading volume, meaning that the price is really tend trending in bullish direction on the 5 minute chart. So now I'm going to put this video on pause and I'll get back to you with the results from this trade. Okay guys, I'm back about 20 minutes later to show you that the price has shot up very strongly, which is the reason why I'm immediately closing this trade, because uh, I got what I wanted from it. And uh, I think this is enough, because after a very strong price increase, we're very likely to see a big pullback, which is absolutely normal event. And as you see, the price is already hesitating and it attempts to create a bearish run, maybe. I'm not sure. Maybe we'll see another bullish explosion. But uh, as I told you, my plan here was to catch this potential bullish move. And the good thing is that I did and I exited at 111.65. At the same time, I entered at 111.41. Here they are, all the levels. I'm going to mark my entry point with white and my exit point with green. And at the same time, I placed a stop loss order slightly below the top between the two bottoms of the double bottom pattern that actually appeared to be a real double bottom since we saw that price, since we saw the price shooting up. So it appeared to be a very, very nice and attractive trade. So let's do some calculation now. All right, so I entered at 111.41 and I stayed in the trade uh, until 111.65. This is like 24 pips profit, which is 0 0.24. When I divide this number by my entry price, which is 111.41, I get the result of 0 0.002154. And when I multiply this number by 100, I get my percentage profit from this trade, which is 0 0.22% profit, uh, approximately profit from this trade. And as you see, the price keeps shooting up. Maybe it will increase uh, further, but I don't want to risk in this trade because my point was to scalp the market for, for this move. So there is nothing bad in exiting the trade. And 0 0.22 pip, 22% uh, is a very good, very, very good profit. Uh, in this case, having in mind that the trade took like 5, 10, like less than 20 minutes. Uh, making it a very good asset to my trading account. So, thank you very much for watching. This was Damian from ForexBowl.com. Make sure you click the subscribe button in the bottom right corner or you check out our previous video in the bottom left corner looking forward to see you in the next forex trading session and until then i wish you happy and safe forex trading